Welcome to Learn Automotive. In this video, I'm going to give a reply for the comments, whatever I received for. It's not only the reply, also you can learn few points. There is uh, like uh, what is snapshot data or what is freeze frame data, why 12 volt uh, battery is in a car. So these kind of uh, things I'm going to reply and it will be really helpful for you to understand um, the concepts as well as the others questions. All right, I'll start with the comments that is recent. I got yes the I just got a compliment for the uh, for the last uh, video on the status mask on uh, sorry status of the DDC that is my session and can you please make video on the freeze frame see yeah freeze frame it is, it is not much difficult to understand to make a big video so I'm just telling if you are not clear you can leave a comment again so freeze frame and also another comment I got like snapshot data so the sna DDC snapshot data as well as the freeze frame both are same so the DTC snapshot data is called as freeze frame data also all right so what exactly this DTC snap snapshot data and freeze frame is whenever the particular DTC occurs so if you are creating a fault or the fault the fault is already been created so at the time of creation what are all the values of the parameters like what was the speed or what was the battery temperature and uh, these are all the what what, what are what was the uh, throttle angle and you, ha you have a number of um, uh, things that uh, consists of the freeze frame data that is primarily to check when the particular DTC occurs what is the status of the other parameters so for uh, the diagnostic engineer it is very easy for, for him to debug the DTC that is why it is occurred and it is easy to fix them also all right so next comment is can you is there any video where you explain about the sessions and which all sessions are required to test 19 see uh, usually 19 service can be tested uh, in default session and extended session and uh, again if there is any customer uh, specific uh, sessions yes it is uh, this depends on the customer specific but literally default and extended session is a is a particular uh, session that can be uh, read the DTCs or the read the data next yeah this is the next question hi please tell us uh, why in a car we only allowing using 12 volt battery why not other than one if this this type of question is asked in the interview what type of the explanation is the best to give please explain yeah so that is currently in our conventional cars we are using 12 volt battery but if you if you if you go 30 40 years uh, before they were using 6 volt battery now it become 12 volt battery so why it is 12 volt and previously it was uh, 6 volt and maybe in future the voltage may become high yeah let me explain first uh, before 30 or 40 years they were using 6 volt the reason is the accessories inside the car was very less so nowadays we have so uh, many accessories like we have the iot's uh, we have uh, many uh, you know, uh, cluster information so uh, so for that we need uh, enough um, backup that is a 12 volt right so but previously in 35 40 years ago there was the the, the infotainment or the advancement like adas features are not up to the mark so the ECUs were less so literally the ECUs like before 30 years the ECUs was like uh, 5 or 10 maximum but nowadays it's it's around 50 60 even uh, 90s hundreds ECUs also has been using so for those the power supply we are going for the 12 volt and yes of course the 12 volt is more than enough to uh, to uh, suffice the uh, accessories as well as the microcontrollers has been fetched in the car if you if you go beyond the 12 volt like 48 voltage so definitely it will be more if more um, weightage and the efficiency will become reduces because it will be huge weight and uh, the so your, your mileage drops and all will occur and, and literally there is no need to use beyond 20, 12 volt if it is an electric vehicle yes they can go for 48 voltage so in 48 voltage you can run a car or in hybrid vehicle you can run a car with 48 voltage so for that it is okay but uh, means to run a motor so it is okay to go for 48 volt but for accessories we are not using much as just for the starting it will take more uh, current apart from that we will have uh, minor accessories also ac is not going with the uh, battery it will it will just whenever you turned on the engine the ac ac belt will accompany with the uh, engine so that uh, ac compressor will also work with uh, the engine or engine only so it means uh, the input is petrol so, so that is the reason that we are not going for more than 12 volt also in the 12 volt we have six cells like uh, 2.1 voltage each cell producer so it will be around 12.6 voltage so for your question as i i thought uh, i answered if not you can please leave I'll, I'll still make a separate videos also first time i saw where the 
ECU was located in Arya. Yes, thanks a lot. So yeah, maybe still I will show you more ECUs whenever I I, I get to use the explain those uh, particular concepts. So thank you. I really like this stuff. Thanks for sharing the video. I'd like to know if you have OBD tool. See OBD tool. It is a even play in Play Store only. I, I have installed. So you can have a info core or diagnostics. So you can just type OBD tool. You'll get uh, plenty. If you are really uh, ha want to use for your car, so better you can go for some paid um, uh, paid OBDs. Like it will be like a 250 or 300 uh, the whole subscription. So it will be useful for you to get accurate data. So you can just in uh, Play Store you can just use and you have to buy the hardware the obd scanner you have to buy like it will be it will be around cost around 4000 uh, indian rupees don't buy for 600 dollars my suggestion the reason is if there is any any problem if there is any short circuit uh, happened with the obd connectors like if you go for the low priced then uh, there may be the problem to uh, to flash the uh, refresh the software or to 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 uh, fix the ecm that is your engine's computer so please don't uh, go for the cheap uh, obd better you go go for like 3000 or 4000 plus so it will be good all right that's my suggestion i'm not recommending any any product here hello so uh, yes uh, need to know about status mask sent from tester side so what exactly the status mask that's what is question so status mask literally uh, tells that is from uh, tester side definitely status mask is from the tester side so when we are requesting the dtc status for requesting the dt uh, for getting the response uh, from the ecu for the dtc status we have to request the dtc status mask so dtc status mask also eight bits that is one byte the eight bits is mapped to the status of the dtc eight bits so whenever you are requesting the status mask so status mask the name itself we can tell the d the, uh, the, the dtc status is masking with these parameters so we are requesting that and we are the dtc of the mask like uh, the uh, pending dtc confirmed DTC, these things will be mask up and it will gives you the status so that is all about the status mask okay so it is from this definitely is from the tester side right sorry can i get online trainings yeah i think i have i have mentioned you uh, the whatsapp number you can contact if you really interested and uds automation in capitals uh, i guess you have uh, mentioned i think he is asking about some uh, training so i have mentioned i have mentioned my whatsapp number please explain the snapshot data is this what i said i think uh, one more the one more question the snapshot data is already i said it's a freeze frame data right so literally we used to call it a snapshot data freeze frame data is just for the reference like uh, literally we are using as a snapshot data so snapshot data is a data where the the particular parameters has been logged whenever the dtc trigger and one more thing you have to understand that i forgot to tell so whenever you are clearing the dtcs the snapshot data with the respective dtcs also will be clear that you have to understand so it is again uh, depends on the sub manufacturer specific the reason they are clearing is to uh, you know uh, to unbound the memory so to make free up the memory space as you know microprocessor micro microcontroller they always used to uh, go with very low memories so it is it is always uh, not to keep the garbage uh, data so you can clear time to time so that is the reason i know you are requesting with the uh, clear dtc and clear diagnostics um, information means uh, uh, it will clear the snapshot data and freeze frame data as well very informative thank you python videos yes ma'am yeah so the python videos is on the uh, i will try to get it up or i'll share you the links uh, for your comment so that you can go through that if it's helpful yeah next question this also i thought to ask i mean i thought to explain so uh, adas so is there any separate software used for adas so the main understanding of is many people is adas is a kind of software so adas is not a software it is just a uh way that is uh, it is just a features or it is just a kind of technology you can tell so it's an advanced driver assistance system see in adas we have 100 plus uh, features so all these features will comes under the adas so it is not a specific software or it is not a specific tool it is just a process or it is just a technology which comprises many functionalities all right so that's what the same question again i again i regularly follow your videos so uh, good explaining i'm fresher i'm interested in yes you can just you can develop you can learn as much as stuff so that you can easily get into that and uh, yeah good explanation waiting for your videos yes definitely we'll keep on update videos i want 
protocols you are protocol i2c protocols yes definitely we'll try to make as soon as possible what is throttle uh, this also for the premier previous video i have explained what exactly the throttle is it is it is just a throttle body is a throttle it will just uh, open the butterfly wall uh, so how much percentage it is opening that much uh, percentage the air will flow through the air fuel mixture will happens please share your contact number as i have shared you can contact me if there is anything really required very good so appreciate it thank you thank you okay thank you so more on compliments thanks so these compliments really make me to do more videos so thanks a lot for your compliments so if you have any comments you can always leave not only the compliments also uh, if there is any contents you want yes you can really uh, leave a comment and crc so calculate the crc I definitely will i'll complete the redtc playlist so i'll start with the crc and as well as the checksum both i will do in a one or two videos PCB board raw hand may be tested based on the requirement or else what we won't take yes ma'am uh, we should not use the PCB board with a raw hand the reason is PCB board is a uh, over sensitivity sensitivity for the static charges so as you know we are uh, we are very much uh, uh, good for the creating the static charge like we in our school days you definitely you have the rubbing of the uh, conductors or even in whenever you are going near to the old and crt tvs your your, your, your has will become uh, you know perpendicular to the tv screen so the the reason is you are we are very conductive to the static charge and the pcb board also very conductive so if we touch with the raw hand what will happen is the static charge from our body it will goes to the one one uh, sub components to another sub components and it will make short and the entire pcb board may get wasted so that is the reason we are always use the wristband whenever you are working in a lab if really the wristband is not available for uh, your emergency purpose you just remove your shoes or slippers you can just earth grounded yourself and you can touch that is the next uh, suggestion you can give so definitely you should not uh, go with a raw hand you have to wear your uh, uh, earth or there is a ground band or wrist band or you have to be earth manually that's it all right so this is very you know because the pcb one or two pcb is gone then the project may uh, hold for one or two days so there will be loss of productivity so you have to think in that perspective also very helpful info thank you is it possible to write vector tools tutorial so definitely vector tools is not possible you just install the vector tools and in the help option you can learn as much as possible you can uh, itself so vector is not giving any license or any copyright uh, permission to publish the contents is it possible okay nice pro please put more videos definitely thanks for your consistent uh, appreciation good explanation can you view more on capital examples yes definitely after reading this information we'll have some uh, four to five videos on a queue after that we'll go for the capital explanation also good overview thank you good explanation expecting more interesting waiting for upcoming videos thank you thank you very good explanation okay 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 hi bro subscribe i'm eagerly waiting for to learn the functionalities in car yeah, definitely uh, we'll, we are we are trying to see that's what we are trying to give always like we are one side we are giving the embedded uh, stuff like uh, what are all the uh, what are the uh, contents like electronic components and another side I am giving the um, automotive components another side I am giving the uh, features that is uh, the technology so if you if you correlate all you can get the very good knowledge so that's what even the functionalities in a car also is about to come yeah i think of course yeah thanks yeah that's it i have um, i have replied for all your comments if you have any comments please don't hesitate to uh, leave a comment so definitely when you, when you leave a comment it will make me to make more videos and uh, yes i can i'm ready to clear your doubts also um we'll get back to you in the next video until then bye take care and thanks for your support